You've just been thrown into a world where you'll be conscripted to fight a war in a distant future where you're dead and vicious aliens are about to drive humanity to extinction. These aliens have no chill, and in this video, I'll be going over all the mistakes made, what you should do, and how to beat the White Spikes in The Tomorrow War. Quick background on the White Spikes. They're fast, intelligent, travel in packs, have a social structure like bees, and are equipped with ranged spikes that they can throw, hence their name. They're highly resistant to AR-15 fire, apart from their bellies, and they reproduce like crazy. What should you do? From the perspective of a regular civilian who just got conscripted in the year 2022, there are two categories of people here. One, you're alone and have a lot of resources, or two, you have a family and need to worry about them. With option one, getting a fake passport, hiring a fixer to get rid of your bolted on time band, and going off the grid in some remote place in Canada would be your best bet. If it's just you, you'll still have a good 26 years to live out a long and fulfilling life before things go to hell. Enjoying whatever time we've got left is what you should do. For people who fall into the second category, we just have to stay alive for a week. The government has made it near impossible not to go, that is, if you have a family. So get your affairs in order, prepare with some cardio endurance training, and have your own self-preservation in mind. You can only afford to care about yourself, because saving other people, who could still be valuable as good distractions, will get you and more people killed. Staying near the center of the group with meat shields on all sides is our ideal position. We just have to lay low enough for the time jump machine to bring us back, which is exactly what one of the other characters do in the movie. But for large-scale military attacks and changes to our nationwide action plan, we don't have to abide by the laws of a Hollywood screenwriter. So from this point on, let's continue if we were a US military leader from 2048. In this movie, that's faced with this situation. All right, conscripting people from 2022 who are dead in present day, then bringing them to the future to fight seems like a pretty drastic measure where we could instead send back future technology to help advance humanity enough to the point where humanity can fight these aliens properly. 26 years is a long time technologically, and developing weapons of mass destruction, especially towards specific species, is our specialty. Failing that, nuking them would also be a good option. Future soldiers even go as far as to make sure no one from the past knows what those white spikes look like, because they're so horrifying that no one would want to fight for the future war. However, had the future people brought back a few white spike corpses, samples, or even body cam footage to analyze at Area 51, instead of sending back some expendable future soldiers, humanity would have a full 26 years to engineer a solution, like a bioweapon, or find some specific weakness. If we were able to invent time travel and bring back a toxin capable of reducing each and every one of them to dust, then this should be a walk in the park. When capturing the female white spike, she takes out a bunch of soldiers and they try to drag her by harpoon cable into a little cage, which is just a waste of perfectly good resources. We need her alive, but we don't need her all in one piece. Cutting off her two tails to eliminate her long range weapons and then muzzling her is crucial to minimizing the risk here. Then binding her feet and arms together would be the next step. Instead of just using a team of easily defeatable soldiers, we should supplement this with drones or other remotely controlled weapons. An army of harpoon equipped mini drones would keep human lives out of danger and be more effective. It could take a chainsaw, hydraulics, and some high strength fiber cables to bring her down in this way, which is why hitting her with the tranquilizer, then dragging her into a cage while she's passed out is the best strategy. We would have the lowdown on this thing's abilities because we've analyzed white spike corpses and gotten first-hand data and body cam footage, which is something the characters in the movie just completely overlook. If we're going with Miri's highly specialized approach of an injectable toxin, which Thanos snaps them into dust once administered, we could make it so that it's an aerosol form and gas them instead of nuke them. Then we can go Agent Orange on a horde of these aliens. Hopefully humans are immune to it, because we'll still need land to live off of once we can flush the white spikes out. Once we've analyzed the white spike corpse and gotten data from other soldiers, 
we know that they act like bees, with workers and a queen. Right when Miri finishes making the toxin, hundreds if not thousands of white spikes swarm the fortress in the middle of the ocean where the last of humanity is holding out. They seem to be tracking her through her screams or some sort of pheromones. Capturing a female, then fueling up a bunch of helicopters and carrying the female out to the middle of nowhere, and then nuking them or hitting them with an aerosolized toxin once they hit critical mass, and rinsing and repeating the whole process would be the best way to deal with them. In conclusion, if we weren't subject to the whims of a screenwriter who just wants the relationship between child and parent to be outlined between Dan, his father, and his daughter, then we should be able to execute any or all of these strategies and easily wipe out the white spikes with good old American firepower and ingenuity. But what are your thoughts? How would you beat the white spikes? Let me know with a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video, leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.